Hello fellow guitar geeks, this is the Black Sun from Thermion Engineering and it is such, such a beautiful pedal that makes me feel like a better guitar player and I, I don't normally start a video like that and I don't normally get so inspired so quickly but um, behind the scenes there's lots of knobs on this and I had to learn what the pedal does and I figured the best way to do that is to not pay any attention to the manual and just make some sounds. So we had that little soft intro with some black sarden. Listen to what happens when I press this button just here. So hopefully you can hear that this goes from something beautifully warbly, tremolo, phasery. To something wacky and weird. And then when you go from one speed to the other, it ramps down. And that is brilliant. In the manual that Thermion have provided, there are three suggested settings. So I'm gonna do my top five tones, three of which will be from the settings in the, the manual, and two of which will be my very own. Here are the top five tones with the Black Sun. Now you might recognize the rotophaser sound being a Leslie speaker type sound. So that's the, the speaker cab with the moving speaker inside that rotates. And because the sound is being blasted away from you and towards you in a 360 degree angle and constantly revolving like this, uh, that's why it sounds like this phasing sound. There are many pedals that do the rotophaser sound on the market and there are many, many digital emulations and software emulations, but the Black Sun is completely analog and it's got loads of knobs on it. So. I'll do some more sounds in a moment, but I'll just explain what the knobs do and how they affect the sound. First of all, I'm getting my drive today from the 45 caliber from J Rocket. That's going into the Fender Deluxe Reverb into vintage V30s. Thermiana split the knobs up into three distinct sections. We've got the EQ section just here. We've got horns and drum, which is treble and bass. Then we've got the timing section just here. So speed G and shift G refers to this green LED here and speed R and shift R refers to the red LED. So you've got two different modes. And the shift is how long it takes to transition from the G to the R when you press that button. 
And of course, the shift from the R is how long it takes to transition from the R to the G when you press that button again. And speed of the R and speed of the G is how fast the rotary is. To demonstrate that quickly, let's go. We're on the G. So this is the slowest that it goes at. Let's just turn the pedal off for a minute so you can hear the clean tone. There's a little bit of drive there, not a lot. Let's turn the speed of the green LED section up a little bit. Very, very subtle, a bit more. Okay, right, on to the modulation section. Up here you can select your waveform. Here's the depth of that waveform. Here is the cycle which modifies the duty cycle of that wave. So if it's in the center position, the modulation waveform is the same as what's going on here. And you can affect that slightly by turning it left and right. I will show you in a moment. And then up here is the speed ratio, so it multiplies. Down here is slower, and we can see it happening on this very handy red or orange LED. And as I turn that up, it gets faster because the speed is super fast. So if I slow that down, that's like non-existent. Oh, there we go. And you can see it kind of going in and out. Can you? No. There we go. So it's super slow. So with the modulation, you can alter the depth to be a bit more subtle. <laughs> Let's get that speed up somewhere. And nice and warbly, put that back in the center and we'll adjust the depth. Hopefully you can see that the wave LED is blinking in relation to how you have the waveform set. So if I reduce the depth, you can see it kind of reacts uh, just there. And then if you have the speed, you can see it blinks faster and also faster or slower, depending on how you have this set. So this is basically a multiplier. You don't need to know the musical notes that are, are near it. I'll just run through the different waveforms quickly. Up there, we've got something, I don't know, these, these signs almost mean nothing to me. They, that, that seems to be narrow and sharp. last setting is a question mark, which is for random. And it seems the way that you turn this more that way, the more extreme the settings get. So if you're after something fairly subtle, stick to this side, or if you're after something random, stick it to that side. Uh, then we've got the cycle, which alters this waveform selection ever so slightly. <laughs>
I'll be honest, I don't know exactly what the cycle knob is doing, but I do know that if you leave it in the center, then this is very predictable. If you go off center, then you start to get wackier or more subtle results, depending on where it is. I don't know what the cycle knob does. Sorry, it, it, I, I can use it. I just don't know how to explain it. Okay, um, then let's just mess around with the multiplier. So I've got the speed on the green set fairly fast, um, and then I'll just increase the multiplier and it will make it faster. Let's take a look at the switches. This is the on and off switch. So I like the way they've written go there. So no go, go. Then we've got the speed so we can switch between red speed, which is set here and green speed set here, or we can tap tempo at own tap tempo. So this, this tap tempo secret sauce. So we've actually got three speed settings, tap tempo, which you can just tap to your heart's content with this lovely soft switch. and then adjust the multiplier. Um, and then you can switch between green and red. So you've actually got three speed settings. These are kind of presets. And then if you're playing a song and the, tap temp uh, the tempo is slightly different to what you may have pre-programmed using this, then just tap away. It is time for pedal builders and pedal aficionados alike to run to the hills and hide because I am gonna open up the pedal and see what's inside. Okay, moment of truth. What's inside you, black sun? Oh my goodness. A lot. Now I know that Thermion make quality stuff and I know that Thermion put lots of stuff in their pedals. I'm not gonna to pretend to know what's going on here. It just looks impressive. There's a lot of lot of parts in here. Look at that. And people complain about the price of pedals, but everything here has been hand soldered. Look at it. That is nuts. Okay, we've got Black Sun version two in memory of Chris Cornell. That's a nice little touch. Uh, Thermion, there's the quality switches there, so no boring low quality switches little trim pots inside here i'm not going to touch those and so much going on and it seems really well done okay well that's inside the black sun i hope you'll join me in agreeing that that is a very well built pedal i'm going to start by saying the sounds out of this are absolutely gorgeous the pedal has its own kind of drive sound as well as the rotary so because it's doing this rotary phaser it automatically sounds slightly overdriven. It sounds like that Leslie speaker. It sounds crunchy and beautiful, even at this lower, lower, more subtle settings. And it is one of the, the best pedals I've ever played that does this sound. And I'll admit, I haven't played that many, but I have played many digital versions and those always sound a little digital. It's really hard to recreate this in the digital world and to finally have it analog in something so feature filled and something so usable. So it's simple. It did scare me at first, but now I've come around to the fact that I think this is a mainstay on my pedal board and I'm going to actually have to increase the size of my pedal board due to this pedal. I don't think I'll get to use it very often because the blues band that I play in don't really go as far as using rotary speaker sounds. But because there are two guitar players in my band, I get the feeling that if I want something to really set me aside or my sound aside from the other guitar player, just by putting a little bit of depth on here and something subtle, it's going to introduce that modulation that's going to def define his guitar from my guitar and let me have a little bit more fun. This is 245 euros. And when I showed you inside the pedal, I don't know how many hours it would take me to solder all those parts, but not just that, the research and development that's gone into this, the beauty of the artwork. I think it looks gorgeous. It's very understated, and I think it would definitely see itself on many players' pedal boards. Ultimately, playing this pedal makes me happy, especially on those subtle settings where I'm just hitting a few chords and I could have a second guitar soloing over that. I'd be well happy to sit on rhythm guitar playing this for hours. Um, also, it's far, far better than the cheaper versions of rotary stuff you can get. So the micro pedals, the sort of $50, $100, they have their place, but this, this is next level. This is a professional 
pedal. And I think it sits really well in that subtle to medium setting. The more extreme settings, there are, there is a place for that. There, if there are some noisemakers out there watching this, this is kind of a must have because it does almost this ring modulation that really, really, really sounds weird. So I think some radio head sort of stuff might sound cool through this or some, some massive atmospheric reverbs and some layering of loops. This is a must have. And I'm not gonna say any more because I think the pedal speaks for itself and that price is exactly where it should be. I was expecting it to be more near 300 euros. So 245 euros is a bargain if you're looking for a quality Roto Phaser. Okay, I will say something more and that is that, um, that this did scare me at first, the settings and I found the best way, and if you do get one of these, the best way to figure it out is just to plug it in and play it and it'll, it'll be fairly intuitive. I, I, I did look at the manual, but I already knew what I was doing just from listening. And that's a big thing for me. That's the end of the video. Congratulations, you've made it to the end of the video club and to prove that you are a member of this prestigious elite, please, when you leave your comment telling me what you think of the black sun, also include the phrase, wash away the rain. And by doing that, it lets me know that you've seen this part of the video and I love that song so much. Thank you. That just leaves me to say thank you to Thermion and good luck with the sales of the Black Sun. You deserve to sell them by the bucket load. There are videos over there if you want more from me. If you want more from me in the future, then subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so more people get to see it. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.